हेलो गाइस सो टुडे आई एम इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू आईटी बॉम्बे एज यू नो द गेट रिजल्ट्स आर आउट एंड आल्सो मेजॉरिटी ऑफ यू हैव स्टार्टेड वर्किंग फॉर फुलफिलिंग योर ड्रीम्स फ्रॉम द गेट स्कोर सो ऑन 18th ऑफ मार्च यू नो सीओएपी पोर्टल हैव बीन लॉन्च्ड एंड यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट इफ यू वांट टू अप्लाई फॉर आईआईटीज एमटेक व्हिच इज अ ड्रीम फॉर मेनी ऑफ यू सो फॉर दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू रजिस्टर ऑन सीओएपी पोर्टल सो यू कैन गो फॉर दैट and now one by one all iits are also uh, going to start their admission process so out of them uh, one top most iit is iit bombay also so iit bombay have also started the admission process for mtech mtech plus phd dual degree programs for 23 24 and guys uh, you can see there are a lot of tabs are there uh, on which you can get different different uh, informations so obviously uh, to summarize that all i have taken some things on the uh, ppts so first of all i will show you the schedule which is more important then we will go to all other details related to how to fill the form and all so you can see first of all advertisement on the website was live from 20th of march uh, the beginning of online application process is going to start from today 24th march and uh, last date is going to be 17th of april don't wait for the last date because otherwise at the last sometime because of heavy rush uh, websites are getting crashed many students payment issues are coming and some of you may be not able to fill the form properly so in such condition you need to avoid them so better fill it before 10th of april only and then you can see uh, the next thing is the display of the list of candidate will be on 27th of april then uh, direct admissions offer uh, on the basis of gate score for ta category will be as per the coap schedule and they have also mentioned that uh, for other details uh, written test and interview on the basis of gate score that also you can get on this link they have mentioned and uh, you can see some other things like for ta ra category as per coap schedule things will go and coap schedule we have already shown you on 18th march uh, video then my dear you will be getting the offers uh, so offers you can see first offer for uh, this is 13 june the second is on 23rd june likewise the offers dates are also mentioned then my dear uh, when you will be going for all the counselings then there is a sport round at the end for the pending seats uh, which are not filled for that the sport round date is tentative on 19th july so sometime uh, why tentative they write sometime because of uh, some of the technical glitches they have to extend the date by 2 3 days so for that changes can happen and then my dear uh, orientation is tentative on 19th of july then registration will be from 20th of july and dates times are mentioned verification of documents will be on the 20th and 21st of july so after that your mtech program will start so guys now we will go to the uh, ppt details okay so uh, we will move further so guys uh, this is about the iit bombay for different different iit you need to fill the form after coap registration this is some detail about me so my name is dheeraj sadana and i am coming up with all the new things whenever uh, they are required for you guys so guys now uh, this schedule we have already seen now we will move to the other things okay uh, we will move to the other things so my dear uh, as you already know when you have already filled the coap so first uh, whenever the result will come for the offers that will be coming on the coap portal and uh, after that when you will be going for written test and interview those results will be coming on the iit website they have mentioned the same and candidate needs to log in on coap uh, to see offers and choose one of them choose one of them and the result will be coming on the iit website for different iits written test or interview for mtech plus phd which is a dual degree program will be declared on iit bombay only so they have mentioned the website links also so my dear after that i would like to tell you some important points okay which are there in information brochure first thing is you need to fill the online application form and information brochure may uh, you have all the things uh, for the admission guidelines important dates is already told to you and after filling the form you are advised to take a print of your application form you need not to upload that that is for your reference in the future if you find any discrepancies you need to tell uh, you need to show that form that you have filled that and application fees when we are talking about for women candidate 150 for sc st 150 for all other candidate is 300 rupees so my dear then many of you would be having the doubt 
that shall be applied differently for different programs. So guys, the fee is to be paid by SBI internet banking or online payment and you need not to pay. You need not to pay uh, and submit. You need, need to have the have submit the hard copy of application and application fee is non-refundable. And please note that you can submit only one application. You can apply for more than one program and can select up to 10 preferences. So you need not to fill the different forms for different programs. You can apply for more than uh, you can say one program up to 10 programs you can apply. And uh, they are also mentioning if a discipline has multiple specialization, each specialization is counted as one option. Okay. So they have clearly mentioned all the things and you know that uh, you need to fill the form online. Now they are telling about OBC non creamy layers. So OB candidates may know that the limit of annual income is now 8 lakhs. Okay. For determining the creamy layer or non creamy layer. And same is for the for the EWS category. And guys, uh, this certificate OBC NC certificate issued for financial year 22 23 uh, by competent authority prescribed format must be uploaded online application form at the time of admission. So for that you need to work uh, if you don't have the same is for the EWS they have mentioned the same 8 lakh rupees okay it is from uh, for the family income from all the sources. So EWS certificate is issued by uh, competent authority that also you need to show and for PWD candidate extra time is allowed as per the rule of government of India but for that you need to write the mail for the same okay. So I am giving you each and every minute detail. Now there is a checklist. What are the things you need to upload? Scanned version of photograph. So before you apply, collect these things. Scanned version of signature. Then mark sheet of last semester. Or consolidated mark sheet if you have already qualified the BTEC. Then uh, you need to say the caste certificate, EWS certificate, PWD certificate. If you have and statement of purpose if applicable. So that is not for everyone. Okay, that is for some categories and some other details are also there like photo ID card uh, you need to have for written test and interview hard copy of the application submitted online which we were saying that you need to take the print out you need to take that at the time of written test final year thesis or dissertation or report and copy of certificate candidate having degree from foreign university have to submit the equivalent certificate okay for that also uh, some uh, societies are there for that uh, they are providing those kind of equivalent certificate. So guys uh, now that is a common thing that seats reserved for EWS and all other categories are as per the rules of government of India and contact detail for MTech these degrees they have given you the IDs generally students are asking sometimes sir I am facing this issue what shall I do please help me. So in that guys I cannot help you no one other can help you only those peoples can help you. So for that you need to uh, put a mail there and then they will definitely reply you uh, and they will resolve your issues. Okay. And guys, uh, then I am talking about the dual degree. So the dual degree when we are talking about the general eligibility for MTech program in academic units. So qualifying degree is BE, BTech or BSc or Bachelor's of Architecture, Bachelor of Planning, MSc. Obviously all these degrees uh, you must, you shall have any one of them. And you cannot apply all the programs from that. Like if you are uh, doing BTEC from some branch, you will be eligible for some of them. Obviously for that. Okay. So based on that, you need to apply. They have mentioned this. And guys, after this, they are also mentioning that if you are a candidate who have done your BTEC from associate membership programs, uh, which were, I feel, started in 1948 by the Prime Minister at that time. So in those programs, uh, uh, they, those are actually corresponding engineering type programs. They are conducted by uh, AESI, Aeronautical Society of India, uh, Institute of Mechanical Engineering, Institute of Chemical Engineering. So those, uh, for them also, they have mentioned that uh, recognized equivalent BE, BTEC with the associate membership conducted by recognized profession bodies like these. So for that also, they have said that you are eligible, but uh, generally you have seen such candidates PSUs are avoiding nowadays. So, but still if you want to go for MTech, they have mentioned this. Okay. Then they are saying that uh, marks requirement is 60% or a CGPA or 6 on the scale of 10. Okay. For SCST categories, it is 5% lesser as you already know. And guys, uh, this was uh, the complete information I have shown you. 
uh, still if you want i will be sharing the pdf of this session which will help you to know any point uh, if you want to see so best of luck guys i hope all of you will be getting uh, your dreams to be fulfilled stay tuned